हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स अ वीडियो इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फाइंडिंग द एच सी एफ दैट इज हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर एंड एल सी एम दैट इज लोएस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल ऑफ होल नंबर्स एंड एक्सटेंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट टू फ्रैक्शंस एंड डेसिमल्स सो यू नीड टू वॉच द एंटायर वीडियो टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल टेल नाउ do click the subscribe button here and along with that you need to click the bell shaped icon to get all the notifications on your mobile so let's quickly get going and understand how we can find the hcm and lcm of numbers like we have some proper and improper fractions or you may have decimals also and then how to find their hcf and lcm so first of all i am going to take some easy examples of fractions to tell you the concept then some examples of decimals and then we will extrapolate the concept to find the hcf and lcm of maybe 3 uh, to 4 fractions or 3 to 4 decimals also so the first question which i am going to take up is uh, related to two fractions so suppose we have two fractions like 12 upon 25 and the second one being 9 upon 20 and now i need to find the hcm and lcm of these two fractions so first thing is i should know the highest common factor of the numerators that is 12 and 9 i should know the highest common factor of the denominator that is 25 and 20 and then the lcm of the numerators that is 12 and 9 and lcm of the denominators 25 and 20 so if you are uh, you know competent enough to find these four things orally then finding the hcf and lcm of fractions also is just another concept so the highest common factor so i can see by observation that 12 and 9 they go into 3 so the highest common factor is going to be 3 only because that is the largest number which divides both 9 and 12 likewise the largest number which divides 20 and 25 obviously is 5 now come to the multiples 9 doesn't divide 12 right so let's take the multiples of 12 24 not divisible by 9 36 yes it is divisible by 9 and so 36 is the lcm of 12 and 9 uh, 20 doesn't divide 25 If you take multiples of the larger number twenty five, next multiple is fifty. Now fifty also is not divisible by twenty. So take the next multiple seventy five again not divisible. But if you take the next multiple which is one hundred, hundred is divisible by twenty, and therefore hundred is the LCM of twenty five and twenty. So all these four can be found out really quickly, and then it's just the concept. So whenever you are finding the hcf of fractions what do you do is you take the hcf of numerators so i'll write n for numerators and lcm of denominators and likewise if you are asked to find the lcm of the fractions then you take the lcm of the numerators and divided by the hcf of the denominators now this is the concept which we need to use in the question so using this we can find the hcf and lcm of these two fractions now so what will be the hcf hcf of 12 and 9 we found out as 3 and lcm in the denominator so lcm of 25 and 20 that is 100 so 3 upon 100 is the hcf of these two fractions likewise if you have to find the lcm take the lcm of numerators that is 36 and hcf of denominators hcf of the denominators is 5 and so the answer is 3 upon 100 as the hcf and 36 upon 5 as the lcm so this is the concept of finding the hcf and lcm of fractions you may have more than two fractions maybe three fractions also the situation Uh, differs but the method doesn't right now let's apply the concept to find the hcf and lcm of decimals now suppose 
you have the decimals like 2.8 and 0.63 and I want to find the HCF and LCM of these two decimals. We all know that decimals are actually an extension of fractions only. So if you divide the numerator by denominator, you get a decimal or if you remove the decimal, you get a fraction. So somehow the concept of HCF and LCM of decimals is related to that of fractions. But we are not going to convert them into fractions. We will try and manipulate them as decimals itself. Right. So the first thing before finding HCF and LCM is we need to ensure that each number here has equal decimal places. So if you see 0 0.63 has two decimal places, but 2.8 has only one decimal place. So I will write 2.8 as 2.8. 8 0 Does, doesn't make a difference right and 0 0.63 remains the same now after equating the number of decimal places in the two numbers you will ignore the decimal so the numbers become 280 and 63 and now using the traditional approach you have to find the HCF of 280 and 63 and then the LCM of these two numbers so how do you find the HCF of these two numbers? I think if you see 280 is divisible by 7 and this is 7 times 9. So 7 is a common factor. So if you take 7 as a common factor, you will have 40 here and you will have 9 here and 40 and 9 they are co-prime because 9 is 3 times 3 and 3 doesn't divide 40. So the highest common factor of these two numbers is 7 only. So I will write HCF of 280 and 63 is 7. Now likewise you need to be really smart in finding the LCM of these two numbers and the LCM can be found out using the prime factorization method which you already know 280 can be written as 2 times 140 so 2 times 70 2 times 35 so 5 and 7. And so this reduces to 2 cube into 5 into 7 and then 63 can be written as uh, 3 times 3 9 times 7. So this is 3 square times 7. So now we can find the LCM, uh, the common factor. There is a common factor 7 here in both, both of them and rest of them I think are all different factors. So 2 cube, 5, 3 square and 7 all of them forms a part of the LCM. This is one way you can find the LCM or there is the other way. The other way is we already know the HCF, right? So if you do the product of numbers 280 times 63 and divide it by the HCF 7, you will get the LCM directly. So 7, 9 times and if you multiply 280 and 9 which happens to be 0 then 72 means 27 and 25 2520 and the same answer you will get here 2520 so i have told you how to find the lcm using the hcf or without using the hcf you can do it uh, in the manner which suits you more now once you know what is the lcm and what is the hcf we can find the hcf of the uh, the decimals 2.8 and 0 0.63 directly and we can find the LCM of the same numbers directly. So it is all about putting the decimal at the right place now. HCF is 7 right but we have maximum decimal places as 2 so I will write 7 as 0 0.07. I should have two decimal places and that is the HCF of these two numbers. Likewise the LCM was 2520, so I will put a decimal here because I need two decimal places and this becomes the LCM of the decimals. So finding the HCF and LCM of numbers, that is whole numbers, that skill is a must for finding the HCF and LCM of the decimals also, right? Let's have another case where we have three fractions. So. For 3 fractions, I am taking the example of 3 by 4, that is the first one, 9 by 8, second one, and the third one is 15 upon 16. So I want to find the HCF and LCM of these 3 fractions. 
So first thing is the highest common factor of the numerators 3, 9 and 15. This is pretty obvious, right? Because they are all divisible by 3. And the LCM of the denominators that is 4, 8 and 16. See 4 and 8, both of them divide 16, right? So the largest number 16 will be their LCM. And therefore, the HCF of the fractions, these three, will be the HCF of numerators divided by the LCM of denominators, that is 3 upon 16. Likewise, if you invert the process, now we are doing LCM of the numerators, 3, 9 and 15. What will this be? Now, if I want to find the LCM, see 3 divides 9, right? So, I don't have to consider 3 for finding the LCM. Just 9 and 15. Now, 9 doesn't divide 15. So, take multiple of 15. I want the first multiple of 15 which is divisible by 9. So, 15, 30, 45. Yes, 45 is the first multiple. So, the LCM of these three numbers is 45. And then, the HCF of denominators. What are the denominators? 4, 8 and 16. They are 4, 8 and 16 and this is again easy because the smallest number divides both the other numbers. So, 4 has to be a highest common factor and therefore the LCM of the fractions is LCM of numerators divided by HCF of denominators. Now, this is how the concept of finding the HCF and LCM of three fractions works. Likewise, you can have three decimals also. So, let's take an example of three different decimals. So, the question I'm taking up is 0 0.18 and then 0 0.24 and say 0 0.3. So, we want to find the HCF and LCM of these three decimals. So, I told you we have to equalize the number of decimal places. Here we have two, here we have two, but here we have only one. So, what will I do? I will put a 0 and that doesn't change my question. Now, just ignore the decimals. We have 18, 24 and 30. Now, find the HCF of these three numbers and then find the LCM of these three numbers. For HCF, you can see these three numbers are divisible by 6, right? So, 6, 3, 3s are 18 and 6 4s are 24 and 6 5s are 30 and further there is no highest common factor. So, 6 is the HCF of these three numbers and for LCM you just need to do the prime factorization and that will get, get you the uh, answer for the LCM and the LCM for these three numbers will come out to be 360. Now to find the HCF of the decimals that is 0 0.18, 0 0.24 and 0 0.30, you just need to put the decimal at the appropriate place. The HCF is 6 here and therefore your answer for the HCF will be just put two decimal places, right? So, 6 means 0 0.06 and what will be the LCM of these decimals? It will be, the LCM is 360. So, 3.60 or simply 3.6 is the LCM of 0 0.18, 0 0.24 and 0 0.30. So, equalizing the number of decimal places and then finding the LCM and HCF of numbers which are obtained by ignoring the decimals. That is the skill required here and putting the decimal at the appropriate place is just a formality. Next up, we have 4 fractions. That will be the last question for this video. This is 10 upon 21. See, I am taking big fractions. 15 upon 14. 5 upon 7. And let's take 25 upon 28. Now see, we have to find the LCM and HCF of these 4 fractions. So, I will find the HCF of numerators first and then HCF of denominators because I need everything and then LCM of numerators and then LCM of denominators. So, I'll use the observation method now. Let's see that works or not. If I want to find the HCF of 10, 15, 5 and 25, they are all divisible by 5, right? And 5 is the smallest number. So, it has to be 5 which divides all the 4 numerators. 
Likewise, at CF of denominators, you can see the smallest number is seven, and seven divides all others. So seven is the HCF of denominators. Now take the LCM of the numerators. Five is it? Uh, you can ignore that because five divides all others. For ten and fifteen, the LCM is thirty, right? And for thirty and twenty-five, these two. Uh, I'll have to take a multiple of thirty, which uh, which is divisible by twenty-five, and that is one hundred and fifty. So one hundred and fifty is the LCM of the numerators, and finally the LCM of the denominators. So seven divides everything. So ignore this. Fourteen uh, divides twenty-eight. So ignore this. For twenty-one and twenty-eight, I have to take multiples of twenty-eight, which is divisible by twenty-one. Fifty-six not divisible. Eighty-four yes, it is divisible. So eighty-four is the LCM of denominators. Now see, I just used observation method to find the HCF and LCM of four numbers, and that itself is the skill required. Okay, so the HCF of the fractions we can find directly now, and the LCM of fractions we can just uh, put the values we just obtained. To get these two results, for HCF take the HCF of numerators that is five upon the other way round LCM of denominators LCM of denominators is eighty four. This is the answer. And for LCM of fractions take LCM of numerators that is one fifty and HCF of denominators which is seven. And these two are the Uh, required HCF and LCM of given fractions. So you can see the concept is not at all difficult. It is just about practicing how to find the LCM and HCF orally. Even for decimals, the same skill works. Very very important for all the quant exams. You get such a, a huge number of questions. You know, in uh, simplification questions uh, of HCF and LCM, and uh, you need to give it like maybe uh, two hour practice. and uh, i'm sure you will uh, learn this concept thoroughly so friends if you like this video do share it with all your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel right all the best for your practice